All right, today we're going to be tying a winged caddis emerger. This is fished as a wet fly subsurface. In my vise, I have a Daiichi 1130 curved nymph hook in a size 14. For a bead, I have a 2.5 millimeter gold tungsten bead. I'm going to start by adding some 0.15 lead free wire onto the hook. I'm going to put about five turns of it. So I'm going to be tying in my materials with 70 UTC 70 denier and tan. Get our thread tied in. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this fly. This is inspired by the D rib Wally Wing Caddis by Fly Fish Food. What I change about theirs is I tie my body in a different way. It's not a rib, it's a normal dub body. And I add a trailing shuck. But it's definitely inspired by their tie. I fish this a lot as the caddis hatch starts ramping up in the afternoons and it swings really well at the end of your drift and I think it adds a little bit extra than a normal caddis nymph like through when the hatch begins and through the heat of it if you're fishing subsurface. So for tailor or for a trailing shuck, I'm gonna be using Antron and Tan. And I've taken about half the rope. Get this tied in. So I tie it well into the bend of the hook here. And then I try and tie the rest of the rope up to our wire. This will just help create a more uniform body later. Next, I'm going to tie in a piece of small brown ultra wire. Tied in down to trailing shook. And then I've stripped off about eight to ten pheasant tail fibers. This is natural pheasant tail. So snip off the curlies and then up near your wire. Get the ends kind of flush up against that wire and then kind of pull up as I tie down. This will keep them on top of the hook. But get these tied down into the bend. Next, I'm going to take some super fine dubbing. This is light Cahill colored and make a thin little rope to start. Each successive rope will be a little thicker to add some paper to the body. Down by your tail. Slowly build up. So this rope would be a little thicker than the last one. a little too much but good once we build up our body take your pheasant tail fibers and pull over the top of the body and hold them in place and take one wrap around Make sure they're in an orientation you like, where they're all laying on top of the uh, body, and kind of 
Give him a little bit of a pull, but not too hard. Kind of get him tied up against it and wrap it in. Next, you're going to take your brown wire and make evenly spaced wraps. Up the body. Get in. Helicopter off your wire. Then I take some SLF prism and brown olive create a nice decently long rubbing noodle wrap right where the end of your body is and create a little bit of a dubbing ball. Next you take a cheap rooster cape. This is red grizzly, like a five dollar hackle, grab bag hackle thing. Then take a feather from it, green back the fibers so it makes a shape some somewhat like that. Tie it in. Make one, two wraps to kind of hold it in place and then get the correct orientation. Size that looks good. So I'm going to make a few wraps to lock it in. Then try and, if you can, get all the fibers punched up. Snip it close. If you miss a few, then Go in there and clean. Cut your thread while doing this. All right, once that's cleaned up, take the same feather and do the same just on the other side. Okay, oh. One wrap, two, get it in orientation you like, that looks good to me. Okay, a couple of tight wraps to lock it in. Do the same, come in here and try and clip the feather out, oh. clip the feather out. That looks pretty good. Kind of happy with how those are sitting. Next, take another little bit of your dub. Create a short little dubbing rope to go around your thread wrap. So that looks that just a short little rope try and get one or maybe two wraps around cover up your thread wraps then go into a five or six turn whip finish really get the whip finish wraps hidden in this one just kind of dubbing snip it off then what we do to finish up these wings snip them off right where they meet right at the end like that 
And then I add a little bit of head cement down into the wraps to increase durability, clean it up. Crawfish port, no trailing shell. That's it. My little winged caddis emerger. Again, I fish these when the hatch is really starting to ramp up, but for whatever reason, I'm not throwing dries. And I see caddis coming off, but no rising fish. But I know they're chasing them through the water column. This is a great one. It'll catch them in like a normal nymph drift, or it really does well if you swing it a little bit at the end of your drift. I encourage you to tie up a few and try them out. If you enjoyed this fly tying video or have enjoyed other content on my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Thanks and stay safe.